Moorhead Sandbag Central is up and running, and the city manager says they hope to have one million sandbags stacked by next week. And this year, locals aren't the only ones lifting bags to fight the flood. Reporter Kelsey Roseth introduces us to the surprise sandbaggers that came to Moorhead to show their support. For some at Moorhead Sandbag Central, it's been a long work day. Seven hours of work about. Of lifting, stacking, and packing away sandbags. Arms are a little sore. My back's going to be tired tomorrow morning. Students are stepping it up, helping make Moorhead's dream of one million sandbags a reality. How are your arms feeling, Lizzie? But what's surprising is that these students. I think this is the last one. Haven't even seen the Red River in person. As soon as they find out that we're from Minneapolis, They've been really, really thankful. These students came from the University of Minnesota because they care. I've seen it on the news during the, during the crisis stage when there's the floodwaters lapping at people's heels. It's not just the images that move them. For some, it's the fact that though they live more than three hours away, they too are Minnesotans. This is definitely something that you think of when you think of Minnesota. You think of people banding together. To these students, it's not just a love for the state. It's a love for the people. I think it goes back to the Minnesota nice thing. Oh, this is this is incredible. Uh, just everyone's been great. Everyone's been really nice. Pallets are being piled with sandbag after sandbag by sore U of M students. I, I swear they've been getting bigger all day. Giving Moorhead a greater chance of saving their city. Kelsey Roseth, Campus News. Moorhead City Manager Michael Redlinger says this year they are more prepared than ever, sandbagging earlier than previous years and using a more seamless operation.